Hello everyone! In this video, our topic is the Lake Nemi ships of Caligula, the crazy emperor of Rome. But first, it would be useful to look at who Caligula is, because Caligula is an extremely interesting person and I definitely want you to know. His real name is Gaius Caesar Augustus Germanicus, and Caligula is his nickname. Caligula means little boot. Because from a very young age, he started to live with his father in military camps and he wore the caliga, a military boot made for adults, in its diminutive form. You'll appreciate that it must look extremely cute when a small child wears it. And Caligula wore this in places where he can be together with ordinary people from the public, such as military camps, he becomes a mascot, which known and loved, especially in the army. Caligula was born on August 31, 12 AD, in Antium, a city very close to Rome. Antium is actually a living city and not much remains of the ancient city today. Also Antium is one of the important coastal settlements of today's Italy. If we look at Caligula's family, his father is the famous General Germanicus, and his mother is Agrippina the Elder, the granddaughter of Augustus, the founding emperor of Rome. Let me tell you why she is called Elder, actually, she is not old. Agrippina Elder's daughter name is Agrippine II, therefore historians called the mother one, the Agrippina Elder and the daughter called Agrippina Minor. Caligula's family has military and political power from his paternal side. On the mother's side, she has a power that comes directly from the imperial family. In other words, he is born a very prosperous and fortunate child. But the probability of becoming an emperor is extremely low, because his father, Germanicus, was chosen by the emperor Tiberius to be his heir, the next emperor. Germanicus had two other sons besides Caligula, Drusus and Nero. But, interestingly, when all three of them, Germanicus, Drusus and Nero lost their lives in a close time to each other, Caligula's way to the throne opened. In order to get to know Caligula's family better, it is useful to look at a gemstone, that is, a precious stone with carvings on it. We are now looking at a work of art measuring 31 centimeters by 26 centimeters and a half centimeter, quite outside the usual dimensions. This magnificent work was created by carving two layers of black onyx stone on the background in brown and light colored precious stones on it, which was built in 23 AD. We see the members of the Julio Claudian dynasty, the dynasty of which Caligula was a member. The scene is divided into three sections, in the center, we see the Emperor Tiberius sitting like Zeus. Making the emperor like Zeus shows us his power. Right behind him, we see the emperor's mother Livia, the wife of the first Roman emperor Augustus. The person standing in front of the emperor in his armor and pointed by the emperor is Germanicus the emperor's heir, future emperor, and also the father of Caligula. Germanicus is depicted in armor because he is a very successful general, even a tactical genius. As his name suggests, he was a general who defeated the Germanic tribes, avenged of the Tudobird disaster, and suppressed the Germanic rebellion. Right in front of Germanicus is his mother, the young Antonia. The woman sitting behind Germanicus is Elder Agrippina, and the child standing next to Agrippina is Caligula, the future emperor. The figure standing on the right and looking at the sky is Drusus the Younger, the real son of the Emperor Tiberius. In the background, we see Drusus' wife, Livia. At the same time, Livia is Germanicus' sister, also Caligula's aunt. In the center of the scene above, we see Augustus, the founder of the dynasty and the first emperor of Rome, deified, watching the members of the dynasty from the sky. To the left of Augustus, Julius Caesar is seen, and to the right of him, Augustus' nephew and close friend Marcellus can be seen. From the scene seen at the bottom, we see a group of nations that is conquered by Rome. For example, Gaul figures in the center, Greek figures on the left, and Persian figures on the right draw attention. That is Caligula's family, a dynasty that rules the world. But as I said, although Caligula's chances of ascending the throne are extremely low, Caligula's path is cleared when first his father, Germanicus, and then his two brothers lose their lives. Caligula, who ascended the throne on March 18, 37 AD, reigns as the third emperor of Rome for three years and ten months, until January 24, 41, the day he will be killed. He fits many things into his three years and ten months reign. He did a lucky start, because of his father, Germanicus, and grandfather, Augustus, there was love and sympathy for him in the public. The first months of his reign passed without any problems. But in October of 37 AD, he suffered from an illness, the cause of which we do not know, but which put him in bed, and whatever happens after this illness. After this illness, he became a lascivious emperor who gets angered quickly, 
doubts everything, and started throwing crazy parties. Besides all this, he appointed his horse as consul and sent an imperial army to collect seashells from the coasts. In addition to features such as extravagance and pleasure, Caligula's most well-known feature is his cruelty. He had many people killed, exiled, murdered one by one, whom he did not like or saw as a threat, without distinguishing the guilty or the innocent. The underlying reason for all these behaviors may be the illness, which he had seven months after he ascended the throne, because there are historians who think that this disorder may be the cause of inflammation in his brain and his unstable behavior from time to time but increasing in frequency. Caligula was killed on January 24, 44 AD. After he died, the Senate gave the decision of Damnatio Memoria and he was officially removed from history. His statues and busts were broken, his name was erased from the inscriptions, his coins were melted and even the ships he had built were sunk. These ships are the subject of our video. I know it's a long introduction. After getting to know something about Caligula, we can start talking about Caligula's ships. This is Lake Nemi. A crater lake located about 30 kilometers from Rome. In Italy, from generation to generation, Caligula's magnificent ship floating in Lake Nemi was mentioned, but it was always thought to be a legend. Until the 15th century. In 1446 Cardinal Colonna and his architects surveyed the lake and found the shipwreck 18 meters below the surface of the water. However, due to technological inadequacy, a rescue operation could not be carried out. After this first detection, there were a few more attempts in the following years, and only small parts were rescued from the shipwrecks. In 1895, with the support of the Italian Ministry of Education, Eliseo Borghi begins systematic research to measure the ship's dimensions and interestingly finds that there are not one but two ships at the bottom of the lake. And his team rescued a few bronze artifacts from shipwrecks. I have to give a note here. The location of the ships was known by the local people, and some of the artifacts were even sold to enthusiasts. Even one of the artifacts, which was sold in the past years, was detected in the United States and returned to Italy. The local folks managed to remove a mosaic piece that adorned the floor of the ship and sold this piece to an American buyer. This mosaic piece somehow gone to America and it mounted on a coffee table. That coffee table had been used by the buyer's family for years. When it was determined that the mosaic on this table had been removed from Caligula's ship, the mosaics were returned to its homeland, Italy. Returning to our subject, the location of the ships was determined in 1895. Even the Italian engineers prepared a project for the discharge of the lake, but this project did not materialize in 1895. In 1927, Benito Mussolini ordered the evacuation of the lake and the exposing of the ships. The Italian Navy supported this rescue operation with its engineers and on October 20, 1928, the water of the lake began to be drained. There is a dam located near Nemi and used for agricultural irrigation during the Roman Empire. Channels were opened between this lake and the dam and the water of the lake was discharged into this dam. On March 28, 1929, the wreck of the first ship was reached, and on June 10, 1931, the shipwreck of the second ship was reached. The work that started in 1928 was finished in 1931. In this rescue operation that lasted for years, the level of the lake decreased by 20 meters and 40 million cubic meters of water were withdrawn from the lake. This was a huge and costly project. This is why Mussolini received serious criticism, but Mussolini had a dream of a new Rome. He was an imitator of Roman emperors, so everything about the Roman Empire was very precious to him. He is the one who unearthed and opened the Aeropaces, the peace altar of the first Roman Emperor Augustus. In fact, the photograph of him visiting Aeropaces with Adolf Hitler is famous. It is very ironic that Adolf Hitler and Benito Mussolini visited the altar of peace. After both ships were found, they were towed ashore and a museum was built above them. These ships are gigantic Roman ships, but with surprising details. Ships were made of cedar wood, cedar is the wood of the gods. From here, you can understand the importance Caligula attributed to himself. The fabrics and sails used on the ship were purple, a color unique to the emperor. Only the emperor could use this color and this color was used on ships. The ships are very heavy, both ships can be moved with oars placed below deck. Both ships were covered with three layers of lead as a precaution against woodworms. Marble buildings were built on the decks of the ships and these buildings were covered with colored marbles. On the floor, very colorful and detailed mosaics were used. Metals such as door handles, ornaments, and mooring rings were all made of bronze and gold. Wolf and lion heads were preferred in mooring rings, and the structures were decorated with bronze and marble sculptures. The tiles on the buildings are decorated with gilded copper. 
This caused those who saw the ship from afar to see the ship as shining and made of gold. But all this luxury and pomp did not last long. After the Damnatio Memoriae verdict was issued about Caligula, all the portable objects found on the ships were dismantled and the ships were sunk. All reminders of Caligula and his era have been destroyed. If we look at the details of the ships, the first ship is 67 meters long and 19 meters wide. Its deck consists of three parts and there are traces of foundations of two large structures above the deck. These are rather large structures connected by corridors and stairs. There are marble column halls, baths, and bedrooms inside the buildings. Techniques beyond the engineering knowledge of the period were used. Presumably, Caligula was throwing his famous and wild parties in this palace that he had built on the ship. The second ship is 71 meters long and 24 meters wide. This ship, which is taller than the first ship, is thought to have a temple because Lake Nemi is also called the Speculum Diani, it means the Mirror of Diana. Diana, or Artemis, as she is known in Anatolia and Greece, is a hunting and nature goddess. At the same time, the moon is one of its symbols, as it hunts at night. There are scholars who argue that one of the ships was built for Caligula, and the other was built as a temple to the goddess and sunk. Because the moon can be seen on the surface of the lake as well as in the sky. This is why the ship may have been sunk under the surface where the moon is reflected and sent underwater, and the temple may have been dedicated to the goddess. This seems to be one of Caligula's crazy ideas and wishes. I said that a museum was built on the ships, and during the Second World War, German soldiers established a base around Lake Nemi. They placed artillery and anti-aircraft batteries around the museum. Germany and Italy were two allies at this time. Everything happens on the night of May 31, 1944. After the heavy bombardment of the American army, the German army retreated. According to the American army, the Germans set fire to the museum when they retreated. According to German sources, one of the American artillery shells hit the museum and a fire broke out. Since the conflict continues, this fire was not intervened for hours, and the ships were destroyed by flames. For whatever reason, the truth is, the Caligula ships burned down on May 31, 1944. What remains of them are a few architectural elements, a raft from one of the ships, and a few photographs. This is the story of Caligula's ships. This museum still stands today on the shore of Lake Nemi. You can visit if you go. However, the objects on display are fragments and photographs from the fire. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. See you on next video.